We've got a Lexus RCF here. With the wide body. Looking sick. Uh, stock motor. I think stock motor is going to be the way to go. Now I could put that in, but I don't think so. Uh, stock motor, no aspiration. We might add some later. We've got the race wing on there. Everything in there. Let's put on stock rims for now. Uh, we have the stock tires, which are street on this car. Full tire width. Let's take off the brakes. Full weight reduction. I would love to make this car lighter than it is right now, but I don't think there's really a way to do that. I mean, I could take off the wide body. But I kind of like the wide body. Maybe we'll try that wide body. I'd like to actually see the difference. Let's see the difference. Let's go check the downforce figures and see the difference between these two wide bodies. I want to see what the numbers are. All right, everybody, remember that. Oh, wait, hold on. That'll be a killer. This wide body doesn't have front arrow, so it's in the bin. This wide body does. So that means this wide body wins <laughs> instantly because this one does have front arrow. So now I have to put on my tire width again and I have to put on my weight, weight reduction again because whenever you swap body, uh, it will take off your tire width, it will take off your weight reduction and that's why it looks like it adds so much weight, but make sure you actually put that stuff back on to see the difference. So now, I mean, do I do the GTR motor? Let's build them both real quick and just see the difference. I'll put the, no, I'm not going to put anything on that. I'm going to just try and use the stock motor without aspiration and build it up here. Displacement 700 PI right on the dot. That's good enough to at least test and see the difference. 558 horsepower, 31, 36 pounds, 178 ratio, 710 to 100, and 11.5 for the quarter mile. Now let's check this build or this motor out here. Uh, let's do exhaust, one exhaust, 76, 11, 8. It's heavier. Power to weight says it's better. But the actual physical stats say it's not. That could be due to... Let me just check here. Let me just check the gearing quickly. Because some because the gearing will, will act differently for different motors. If this gearing is going to like 250 miles an hour. And I bring it down. And it brings the acceleration back to 75. 7.3. I think I'm going to try the stock motor. We're, we're going to try it out. We're going to see what it does. I'm going to go have some fun with it. And it was... Hold on. Well, what did I do here again? I can't remember. That? Yeah, that. Okay, let's do this. I like this motor, let's give it a run. Let's see how it does. Now let's just optimize the build real quick because that is not optimized at all. Uh, lightest rims, there's 20. We're looking at 20, we're looking at 27, 34. Let's go 27, rim size 30. I think I'm good at that. Let's go with that. Now let's check the tune real quick. Tune, reset the tire pressure. We're obviously going to have to play with this. So this one was off to lunch as well. So if I bring this to like 160. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. It'll be good. Actually, this tune is not, not done. That means 
faster way to do this to make sure that it's got a tune on it that I know it will use and use well is load my A class tune on it. Then let's go rebuild the car real quick and we'll be good to go. I'm going to use all eight gears in this car just because I feel like it shifts so quickly. Um, being able to use all those gears is going to be going to be optimal. So let's everything is good here. Good there. I think it was that. And then I think it was lightest rims. Is that, is that correct? And then fuel, ignition, exhaust, air filter. Is that it's not right? And then I took off that, I think, right? Yes, there we go. Nailed it, I think, right? I think so. No, I had one rim size on. That's what it was. There we go. Okay, now... I really hope that... Now let's go in here. And it's still not. Okay, that's fine. Maybe that uh, tune just got reset or something. Okay, so let's just do all this really quick. Just going through here. Thanks for all the uh, congrats on the partner anniversaries, everybody. Appreciate it. Here we go. Just got something basic on here and we should be set. Put some arrow on. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Should be good enough. The Chevelle's in C-Class. All right, uh, let's go fix the gearing. Oh. Gary thought nine years, 10 months, that's a good one. Good to see you, buddy. Hopefully you're doing well. Was I pro racing nine years ago? Probably. The Viper would be a decent shout as well. I'm just going to go down the list of cars that appear, though. No bias here. No bias here. 170, 173 should be okay. And we've got, like, four gears to play with sitting here. All right. Let's just back out so we can see the whole thing now. I don't think I passed the Viper. I passed the other Viper. Keep in mind, I have multiple builds for multiple cars. This is the 5-1 handling Viper. Yeah, that's not the sport tire Viper for the street, uh, street tire Viper. Actually, the gear looks almost okay. Uh, a little bit fluffy in here. I don't think that should be okay. Good enough. Let's go. Havoc, unfortunately, that's Twitch. A nice V8 scream in here. Oh, no. We're in game chat for some reason. Get, got thrown out of the party again. All right, let's go. I think it sounds sick though. So many gears. 
Ah, just brush the wall. Car feels good though. Maybe a little loose. Yeah, honestly, it handles pretty well. It does. Alright, let's see what this thing can do, though. I need to see it turn under more load, I think, at speed. And we'll see that soon. As I dip a tire in the dirt, that hurt. Does anyone know what times are here? Just curious how far off this thing will be. Again, times for a street tire though. <laughs> hey, what's up, Chunky? Good to see you, man. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing great. All right, it feels good under load. Took those corners pretty quick, for a car this big at least. See how it takes the last corner. Very well. Thirteen nine with a pretty poor lap. I don't know how far off that is, but we'll call it good enough. Multi-class, but this is basically an A-class lobby. Pretty much everybody's in A-class. We've got, I think, three people who aren't in A-class and the rest in A-class, so... Uh, we've also got some very fast cars, some very fast drivers in here. I'm in the Lexus RCF. Listen to this thing roar. We got a wide body on it. We got street tires. Let's see who has to pit. Let's pull over. Drop to the back. There goes uh, Katrim. Oh my gosh, there's so many people in A-Class. The whole lobby is A-class. Crazy. Alright, there we go. We're at the back. Let's give it a run. There's Rossi. What's up, buddy? Good to see ya. In that beautiful 99 Viper. Oh, a lot of smoke. A lot of cars. Doing a lot of things we don't want them to do. Alright. Let's try and use the power of the Lexus RCF. How much power do we have? Ah, around 558, I would guess. Oh, we might be a little bit hot here. No, we're okay. We also have a whole bunch of gears. I have a gear for every corner, every situation. Let's go through that ghosted car. Around this Ferrari. Up into seventh position. A little hot, but we're clear. The leader is 6.4 seconds up. But again, the question comes down to who has to pit. That's a big deal in these multi-class races with how long they are. You can't get away with race tires. And sport tires, are they run out at the end as well. So you need street or less in order to last the whole race without pitting safely. Of course, this thing's built with street tires. Exoset's slowing me down in the corners, surprisingly. Let's go around him. Rossi's back on my tail. He got through the field while the Exoset slowed me down. He's getting some good draft in here as well. Here's the one and only car in B-Class. There's nobody in C-Class, and I think there's two in S-Class. Oh no, that's unfortunate. DW into the wall. 
So Rossi's got 5-0 handling in that Viper, but he's keeping up with me on the straights pretty well. Maybe the RCF was a bad car choice, but we'll wait and see what happens here. He wants me out of the way. I can't really go anywhere though, unfortunately. Are we gonna split the Ferrari? No, the Ferrari's pulling. Ferrari's quick on the straight. And here comes the S class car. We're gonna go down the inside and hope. Park on the apex. Just get the throttle down and get out of there. And we're clear. S-Class car is probably going to come around the left side. Uh, I'm just going to stay here let them have that outside. Oh, and away he goes. It's pretty heavy misjudgment by the S-Class car. I understand they have no lights, but I mean, it's not that bad. Alright, Rossi's back on my tail. It's only a matter of time until he passes me and takes off. I'm guessing he's going to draft me down the straight, then maybe try to make a move on the last corner here. But we are catching up to the leaders, which is the important part. The leader is six seconds up. Uh, it's a big gap, but I think we've slowly closed it here, even though we've been battling slash in traffic a little bit. Yeah, the grip of his car just holds that inside so much better. As I slide really far out. I'll go outside here. Let him have the inside. He should clear me, no problem. And I'm not going to go for a pass here. I'm just going to stay behind him. And then we should be good to go. Because what will happen now is he'll gap me through these sections. But hopefully, I don't lose enough time that I don't get him to pull me down the straight. As long as I stay within draft distance on the straight, I should usually suck back up to his bumper and that's the uh, that's the play because he's gonna have faster lap times than I am but if I can get him to pull me to those lap times that's ideal now this next section will be the toughest to keep up with Let's see if I can though A little late on the brakes there. That hurts my exits. We've got the S-Class car coming back on me. I'm probably going to lose draft here, unfortunately. But we'll see. Rossi's also catching somebody, though, that's probably going to slow him down a bit. But now I'm getting the draft from the S-Class car. Hopefully the S-Class car doesn't make a mistake here or anything. Alright, so, I'm within draft range of the S-Class car, not anymore. Rossi has draft from in front, which means I'm not going to catch him as well, but I'm now, I'm now in draft range of him as well. Oh, he's so close to the wall. This car holds that inside very smoothly. And around second place he goes. See if I can close up to their bumpers. Little tap of the wall. I was almost very clean. Just a small tap though. Alright, Rossi's taking off. I'm gonna just sit and draft here. 
hope that everyone has to pit. Here comes another S-Class car. Ooh, just barely avoided that collision. This is the S1. I don't think we'll have to pit, though, because that car is probably on stock tires to get it in A-Class. I might actually have to pass this one. Might make it easy on me, though. There we go. A little wide, but we're okay. Come back down and get a good exit. Here comes the S-Class car. Kind of a sketchy spot to catch people, though. So I'll get a little bit of draft from the S-Class car here. Not a whole lot. Alright. Oh, we hit traction control on his exit. Gives me a little bit more draft. Not a bunch, though. Not a bunch. Nice and wide on the exit. Use the curb. We're pretty much caught up to the leader in our class, though. We'll see how uh, how quickly Rossi can get by the leader. We'll also see what that S-Class car does to cause a bit of a commotion up here. No, I'm off. Please don't give me a penalty. Oh. Alright. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. Very small penalty, though. I need to stop blowing that corner. This thing is so big, it is. it does take quite a bit to stop it. Let's see, Rossi's right on the tail of the leader now. I'm very curious to see who has a straight line speed. Rossi made easy work of that. And he's gone. Now I have to catch up to the leader and pass them. Now again, I'm not sure who has sport tires, who has race tires, who has street tires. All I know is that I will not have to pit. And that's the point of building these cars, with street tires. You never have to pit, and that's a huge advantage in a race like this. So if you can be close on pace to the other cars that do have to pit, that's all you have to do. You don't have to be faster than them. You just have to be close. Nine tenths back. Blowing in this corner again. At least I didn't cut the exit. That's better. Still a little bit of a miss, but better. Getting draft from the car in front. I think that's a BMW.
RCF looking pretty solid though. For a boat of a car, not too bad. Yep, that's a BMW. I have that same paint job in mind. Let's get draft down the straight. Looks like they got some pretty good pull. Defending the inside. Let's see if I can just get a run here. This race has gone by pretty quick, though. Only two minutes left. Two and a half. Let's try and clear the second place driver. At this point, it's too late for anyone to pit, so what tires you've got are the tires you've got. Rossi's got plenty of lead. He's fine. We've got to find a way past this BMW, though. He's defending the inside. I do. It might just be a try to pass on the straight, to be honest. We've got enough time to get there. All this S Class car is running out of tires. Whatever this is. BMW might be running out tires as well. I'm really closing on the corners now. And he's getting slippery. He is running out of tires. Let's get some side draft. Down the straight. Yeah, he's out. And there we go. That's going to be a second place. Losing to Rossi. That's no shame. I think he's actually running out of tires too because I'm gaining more than I was for sure. I'm guessing he's on sports and he just made him work. That's a good run though. Very happy about that. So the RCF, yeah, it's not top pace, but it's not too bad of a car. And losing to somebody as good as Rossi in a 99 Viper, no shame there. That was a very good run, though. First run with the RCF, I'd say that's pretty solid. Huge A-class contingency there, and we really ran away from the field. Uh, the top two had a pretty good gap. And then uh, third, uh, fourth place wasn't too, wasn't too far back, but then there was a massive gap after that. Good run, and we also, uh, I didn't, I almost beat that S class car. Um, on track, I beat them, but after the penalty, not quite. So good run, uh, not too bad.